What will be the output of the following pseudocode where parameters are passed by reference and dynamic scoping is assumed? The pseudocode given here is a equal to 3 void n of x x equal to x into a print x void m of y a equal to 1 a equal to y minus a n of a print a void main m of a and four options have been given we need to find out which among these options will be printed when this is run so this is not a c programming question so here what they have given us is pseudocode and they are saying that it is passed by reference and we need to assume dynamic scoping since it is dynamic scoping it is not c programming if it was c programming they would have used static scoping so let us try to see what happens here first here we have an a a equal to 3 now that is a global a so we'll call it global a the, there's a global variable a now inside the main function i am calling m of a we are calling m of a so since no other a has been declared so far this a will be the global a only so the, the global a is being passed to this function void m of y now they are saying it is being passed by reference right so the address of this a was being passed to y so y and a is the same thing only so i'll put it in a comma like this so y and a are referring to the same variable only y and global a and global a was what was passed here so the value of global a is 3 which was assigned here now let's come to this function inside that they are doing a equal to 1 now this is again us declaring a new variable so we will call this variable a local a i've created a container now the value is 1 so we have two a's now one is global a whose value is 3 and local a whose value is 1 and y and global a are the same thing now here we are doing a equal to y minus a so y is 3 the a being referred here is local a so the local a becomes y minus that is 3 minus 1 that becomes 2 so the local a has become 2 now okay now we are calling n of a this local a's value is being passed to the n function and this a is being passed by reference so x and local a are the same thing now they are pointing to the same variable so local a and x is the same x has value 2 now and here we are doing x equal to x into a now what is this a it can be either global a or the local a here in the question they have clearly given that it is dynamic scoping right so initially we had a main function inside the main function we were using an a that was global a here we are using global a inside main from inside main i am calling m inside m we declare another local a and in, from inside m i am calling n so inside n there is another a so the nearest one is local a right so since it is dynamic scoping we will be directly using this a's value that is local a's value here if it was c program it would have used dynamic scoping so here it would have be using it would have referred to this global a only since it is dynamic scoping here a means local a now local a's value is 2 since you can see here and x is also the same thing x is also 2 so x becomes x into 2 so x will be 2 into 2 that is 4 and we are printing x so 4 will be printed first after that we'll exit from n function we'll come here and then we are printing a now a is local a here local a's value has now become 4 since we had passed it by reference so 4 will be printed again we'll exit from here we'll come to main and then we'll exit so 4 4 is the value which will be printed that is option D.